We, at our house, recently got some chickens. We've had chickens before, and chickens are an amazing delight to my family. Just yesterday, Josiah, who's right now behind the camera, was in the chicken yard reading his book for school, and he came in later to tell me about how all the little chickens came and sat on his lap. <laughs> I don't know if you have chickens, or if you can imagine what it might be like to have a little chicken come and sit on your shoulder or in your lap. Oh, wait a minute, I forgot. I brought a chicken to share with you. She, she can't wait to get out of the box. This is Simone. There she is. We named all of our chickens because they're our pets. So we have a Clementine, we have a Sesame, and we just have a great delight in these chickens. But I want to tell you about Simone's sister, Shaniqua. <clears throat> Ray gave her that name. Um, Shaniqua was missing one afternoon. We looked everywhere. We could not find her. <sighs> we looked and looked and looked. And finally, we had to just give up because we couldn't find her anywhere. And it got to be nighttime, and we prayed. We prayed that we would be able to find what happened to Shaniqua. And you guys, I don't know if you've ever lost a pet, but we had the most amazing thing happen. The next day, Nancy Pickett saw Shaniqua walking in the church parking lot. And so Shaniqua got to come home. It was a miracle. But the other thing that Nancy saw was that there was a cat following the chicken. And Shaniqua did end up having injuries, and she ended up dying the next day. So then we had to figure out what to do with her body. So we got a box, and Sela decorated it with hearts and put her name on it. And we took Shaniqua and we put her in the box. She was not alive like Simone here. Live animals are like the chick, the kids you have at your house right now, right? So why do I tell you this weird story about a chicken who died? <laughs> um, because there are lots of weird stories in the Bible about Jesus. And they're all true, just like this story about my true chicken who died. And our story today is from Matthew chapter 26. And it talks about a woman who comes to a house where Jesus is hanging out. And she takes this big bottle of perfume and she pours it on Jesus' head. That's not the weird part. Um, but the people watching her said, that's really expensive perfume. Why is she pouring it on, their, on his head? We could use that money if we sold it to, to give food to the poor people. And Jesus said, hey, you leave her alone. Because she is doing that for me. She is doing that for my burial. Now, my friends, that is the weird part because we took Shaniqua and we put her in the box and we sort of buried her because she was dead. Jesus was alive. He's the one telling the story. So I just found that to be very interesting that he would say she was doing that for his burial. But what I notice is that we cared for Shaniqua because she was valuable to us. We cared about her. So we cared about her body. And this woman poured perfume on Jesus' head, expensive perfume, because he was valuable to her. 